religion police back then. Uh, okay. They're not there anymore, but back then they came and they asked me basically to leave. Hello and welcome to Uncut, live from our studio in Dubai. The audio and visual podcast show that gives you exclusive scoop on our guests and hot topics including some of your favorite celebrities. And now, let the fun begin. Here's your host, S1. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. Today we have a very special guest. He went viral for being kicked out of Saudi Arabia for being too handsome. He is also a model, actor, photographer, and poet. Here we have the Iraqi origin, Omar Burkan with us today. Thanks Welcome, for brother. Me. Cool introduction, though. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? You're also a star of a, a new episode, like a new series, series. show yeah. called uh, Expensive, Expensive Tastes. Right. That's amazing. How how do you feel like this is something new for you, right? Because you're generally like into modeling and photography. Right. I was more uh, into pictures, let's say, uh, more than videos. Um, so one year and a half ago, we had a, an idea to create a show. Okay. And that show was uh, Expensive Day. So we wanted something to maybe unique, uh, right. show Dubai and what's the uh, special places in Dubai and and you cover a lot of like luxury things mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, exclusive <laughs> stuff, right? Well, like every season now, uh, we're in our third season. Okay. So every season we had a kind of the first season was more like about luxury and all the expensive things. Second season, we mixed adventures to it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So like we did the skydiving and we did the swimming oh with the sharks God. and all that. And the third season uh, will trying to just create ideas and from our own and yeah, do something different challenges and all that does it get challenging like do you get scared at times like when they come to you do, who comes up with the ideas as a part of the like do you have producers a team or do you come up with it and say no i don't really come up with any of the uh, ideas. Uh, ideas um i just like our on our second uh, season we had it like a really surprise every every time we come to the to shoot and right. then we don't know what we were doing oh my god yeah so like like just a minute before we start shooting and then they show they us they give you the idea what are we doing <laughs> wow and yeah I, I had a phobia from heights okay so when i did skydiving <laughs> it was like a very very challenging i can imagine yeah, right yeah. like how was that feeling I, I was like almost not doing it so many times you know yeah. like even in the airplane when i was like in the airplane about to jump i was like about to tell them like no stop um and how tall are you omar because you're like for the people who don't know how tall you are yeah. you're super tall you're taller than me 195 195 yeah, okay six four so i could imagine if you tell the guy who who you're strapped I know, to <laughs> I know. i'm not going out you're I not going like, out <laughs> uh, yeah i was like i was like no i was like uh, who's gonna who's gonna be behind me because right. i'm very tall and then i don't want to land before him right you know and they the guy they got me he's really short so i was like how are we gonna <laughs> land how are we gonna land how i'm gonna land yeah and he was not like just put your feet up and everything is gonna be fine i was like he, he done it like ten thousand jumps so yeah i was like okay it looks like i'm and in it was safe fine hand. It was fine. It was very like you know, like I was trying to not look down and how high we yeah. are. Like, and then one time, you by open. mistake, <laughs> by mistake, I was looking just like that, and I saw Burj Khalifa, and I saw how small it was, and I was like, "My God, oh, that's <laughs> way not, too high!" Yeah, right? that's way too high. See, I couldn't do it. I probably couldn't do it, even if they forced me to. Like, if they put money on the table and said, "Here's a million dollars." It's jump very, I couldn't do it. It's a very cool feeling. You like once you do it and you'll be like once you arrive safely and all that and then you'll be like you know what I want to go do it again right now. It, so yeah. that's true right yeah, what yeah. they say. Everyone yeah. says if you do skydiving once you're going to want to do it again and right. over and over again. Right. Right. That's crazy. Omar, how long have you been living in Dubai now? 
Well, I lived most of my life here, but I traveled to Canada. I lived in Canada for eight years uh, for right. studying, and then I also traveled the world and came back here 2015. So you lived in Canada before Dubai? Yeah. Okay. No, I lived, yeah, uh, well, Dubai first, Canada, then Canada second, and then, and then, then came, back. came back. Yeah. And do you have any siblings? Yeah, I do have three. Three? Yeah. Uh, I met I met one of your brothers right. who, who looks almost identical almost, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i was like wait is this your twin yeah that's awesome and that, do the other two also look alike the or? other two no the other two were like they were they're like so canadians you know like they oh. got raised in canada so like we were two different uh, like we're like two teams me and my brother were like the arabic the, okay. version <laughs> and the the other two are like the canadian i assume the other two are younger too right oh yeah yeah, yeah they're, they're like uh, 14 and the other one just 20 now okay yeah. cool mm -hmm. and um does your family live here or they live in canada 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 yeah do you miss canada sometimes when it gets too hot here you just you just miss the miss weather it. you know like you miss the breeze the the, the rain uh, the quietness i miss the quietness a lot yeah because dubai is a very busy busy uh, city especially busy, for you and especially your for, exactly for the lifestyle is very busy so i choose to go there and spend a a month or two weeks in the summer where I just get a full you zone two out. weeks. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. When you say busy, you I feel like you like that lifestyle. The busy oh, I love lifestyle. It. I love it. You want I, that, right? I love it. Yeah. The month goes by like that. You know, like you really <laughs> cannot feel. What is your favorite thing to do? Like what is what is Omar Borkan wanted uh, daily routine like? Well, you want the whole... Yeah, let me uh, let me hear what, what do you do. Well, what I do is like I wake up in the morning. I try to go to the gym. Sometimes I don't, but like I try. Um, I get a nice breakfast and then I go for, out for work. Uh, well, I have, you know, like every day I set up a couple things that I, like I will do for my work or, meetings or, you right. know, like... And then once uh, I'm done with that, I go back home, chill for a bit and then... Eight o'clock comes and I'm out for a, a dinner. Yeah. Um, and then maybe, maybe, maybe party. <laughs> maybe. maybe not not a party. Yeah. You know, like how but it is. You go you know, out like nightlife. Exactly nightlife. Yeah. All right. And do you, you like a nightlife? Do you like the nightlife I scene in Dubai? I love it. Do you think it's how does it compare to anywhere else in the world? Because you've traveled a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen the different right. nightlife scenes. Right. How, yeah. Which one is the best for you? Which one is the best? Like, I really cannot cannot compare Dubai to uh, a lot of other places because in Dubai you get everything in the same city where you go in different cities. Like, they have, okay, something special, but they don't have, yeah, you know, like have the whole package, missing. you know? Like so something Dubai missing. is a full package. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, you have a very cute little son. Right. Uh, Diab. How right. old is he now? Now he's two and eight months. Wow. Mm, Does he model naughty. too? Very naughty. Well, <laughs> he looks good, but his mom does not accept it, no. No, no right? No, no. Would you want him to model? Like, is that something you would... I would really say that he can just grow up and choose his own thing, you know? Like, right. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to choose something for him that he might not, not like, you know? You don't, you I'll don't advise. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You yourself, you came from uh, hospitality management. Like you studied hospitality management, right? No. Hotel management? No, no, no. No? No. Okay. Did, yeah. What did you study then? I did directing. Directing? Yeah, from Vancouver Film School. Wow. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Very fun, to be yeah. honest. I love photography. I love everything about the camera. And uh, directing was basically something that i would love to do in the future if i get the chance to be behind the camera yeah <clears throat> so i chose yeah and do you think uh is that why how you got into acting like kind of i took like you know i never did like act. a proper film. yeah proper okay. yes yeah. so I, I like but i i studied and, and took classes for acting but i never done actually a job where i'm acting you know how did your family feel when you started like modeling? Well, nothing like bad about it. Like, see, how I started modeling is very uh, different than anyone else. Right. Uh, um, back in 2008, 2007, where Facebook just start 
you know, like to be very popular here right. in the region. Um, and I was into photography um, already, you know, so I was taking pictures for my friends and, you okay. know, like trying to make everyone look good and they want to post and yeah. try to get girls and stuff. Yeah. You know? and, <laughs> and you knew just back, how, like, right? You know, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then like you get like, back then the bbm messenger oh my god yeah, that was, was like the a, thing that was yeah. a thing right <laughs> so anyways so i started like that and then one day uh, one of my friends came up to me and he was like omar you know like you really like your pictures looks the best between all of us so why don't you be like more in front of the camera than, than behind the then camera. behind the camera and i was like okay so i started to give my brother or my friend the camera and be like just shoot just shoot a lot of you know pictures so like yeah. like hundred like just pictures. do it just yeah. do it and, and then I, select the best. exactly so i go back to on the laptop and then i choose which back which picture looks the best and then i'll edit it and then post it on facebook okay so facebook was my uh, platform to yeah. to to showcase my picture right. and the modeling and all that like you know like not the catwalk modeling and i i basically you were like now what they call instagram model you exactly, were a facebook model exactly okay. so like back then before instagram i saw this vision of you can be a model online, online. you don't need to be model like Actually, do the catwalk yeah. and all that so yeah so like the first two years it was like fully just free 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 work you oh, know wow. like really yeah. you're, you're not getting paid for it you you're just, just doing it for fun exactly so i did that and then my pictures, they, they start getting uh, around and like it start getting popular because like I, I believe not a lot of people were doing like a professional kind right. of pictures, especially in the Arabic uh, Kandor and all that. So a lot of guys in the chat rooms and you know like the bbm and all they, they, they use your picture they start using my picture <laughs> and they start putting some designs and like some poetry on it oh and all my that God. yeah so this started going around the pictures i saw like okay this is good you know like as this, long yeah, as it's, it's like, working it's working yeah but i used to get a, a backlash when you know like a lot of girls came comes to me and they were like you told us this and you told us that and i was like i did not speak to you at all oh, they you started because so like they were like fake lot accounts of, exactly a lot of fake accounts and stuff oh my god yeah and um they're like i transferred a million dollars to you and you're like wait <laughs> what no this never happened exactly. yeah. wow yeah, yeah so your family found it cool or what well they were did like they mind they did really have a hard time with me bringing all the studio lights into the house and oh, just yeah, like a big mess the... and every day every day i have like some people come in and i'm shooting in my room oh and, my uh, God. and they're like my mom when you ever gonna get paid for what the work <laughs> yeah. you're doing you know what i mean like you're really you're working like, when hard is the to, money coming when in? is the <laughs> money coming you know that's yeah. crazy yeah. Um, was it easier to find like modeling jobs in Canada or like, did you get, cause you started doing ads and stuff too, right? right? Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. Um, was it easier there or here? And like, what was your first deal where you actually got paid? You know, my first ever deal was with Samsung. Okay. Yeah. No, and no, I believe that was like one of the first, first deals that big I, deals. I, yeah, big deals, yeah. Wow, yeah. and Samsung was the one that was also a big one, right? That right. was a big one. Uh, well, you know what? I wanted Samsung for the name more than the money. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I was like, I was, I was doing this, these small deals, but I wanted Samsung for the name on the resume. Let's say yeah. that you know, like once you. Get, yeah it goes yeah. on your portfolio exactly so. so like once you work with a big brand and you'd be like i'm the ambassador of samsung for like a year yeah. it's it, like this big brand brings you the small brands to work with also 100%. you know so yeah so i wanted it more for the name than the money and um that deal was it uh they took you around to travel or wh what was the deal with that like was that a separate deal that was no, a that tour was a, right yeah that was like it was a mini tour next to the big tour that I was doing in, okay. uh, in the like in, at that time. 
so uh, Samsung, I signed with them to be like the ambassador in South America. Imagine all of yeah, like, that's all, crazy. All of the places <laughs> in South America, and I don't speak Spanish. Like they tried to like you know like teach me and all that, but anyway. So I did a tour with them where I you know like travel from city to city, right. trying to promote like the the new cameras or the new you know like the watches and do a lot of conference and interviews and you that's know crazy. yeah yeah. And then that in South America, that's so weird, right? You'd assume that they love me out there. I'm telling <laughs> I you, I know. I <laughs> saw videos of people screaming. You coming out of the car, and people are like screaming and yes. heads over heels. Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah. You know, I was like, wait, uh, you know, South America. I'll tell you a very funny story. I, you know, like I never felt like I was famous. Okay. Yeah. Um, until one day, where. They took me to like we try. I traveled to Mexico. There was like a very secret type of uh, thing, you know, where they took me. They took me to the hotel. They did not want anyone to see me. Okay. We did like they did not let me out of the hotel. Right. You know, like in the same hotel, we did the photo shoot and everything. So the it was the cover of a magazine, and they did not want to no one to know about it. It was like a big surprise, you know. Okay. And then like they flew me for three days. They we we did the shoot. I went back to Canada after two weeks. The release of the cover. Okay, so okay. like I had to go back to Mexico. Then that date when I felt how famous I was. Are in you Mex serious? Yes, because I landed and there were like a thousand people in the airport. Oh my uh, god! Yeah, and I was like, this is was like my first taste of fame. Let's of say that. Fame. And I was like, wow, I am famous right now. <laughs> That's great. And was it thanks to that magazine, like that cover? Was that no. like the biggest magazine, or how? Well, that was the biggest magazine in in Mexico. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like I I did. You know, like that cover basically gave me a big push in all South America because look right. here, it's like Mexico is like the biggest uh, uh, place when it comes to media and all that in South America. You okay. know, like so if you do something in Mexico, you're already famous in all South America. It spreads, right? Exactly, it spreads very easy. So once I did that, the first thing with Mexico, it was very easy for me to start traveling around and do like wow. a lot of jobs in South America. Yeah. So that's crazy. So at the airport was the first time you were like, yeah, I was wow. like, wow, yeah, this is actually like happening, happening. Yeah, yeah. And that feeling must be amazing, right? It was like, yeah, in the beginning, of course. Did it yeah, take like, time to get used to? Uh, it, yeah, I would say. Or were you one of those? Because there's people that adapt I really, really fast. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no. They're like, I'm I, I adapted to it very fast. I did not really have a, an option. I had to, had to I had to adopt because when they when they got me back for the magazine cover release right the, I had like a 30 interviews in a week I had to do That's so like crazy. there I have no option I have to be in front of cameras on radios for the magazines it you had to be ready like yeah. there was you had no and choice. it was so weird because i always had a translator in my ear oh and my I, god a lot of times in the interview i look stupid i be like what is she saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the like, translator you repeat that <laughs> you know one time one time the translator got cut off in Are the you serious? yes in the interview and this girl is, is like talking to me and i'm like I'm waiting for the translator. <laughs> I'm and waiting for the translator. Like, she's, like, she's not there. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not there. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Like help someone help. <laughs> That's amazing, uh, though. Mm. Let's talk about um, how you initially got famous really? and how Omar Burkan, the name, okay. surfaced the internet. My, yeah, okay. sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is another addiction Omar has. Um, mm. Red Bull. Red Bull, huh? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I How love many Red do Bull. you drink a day? And that's a well, large no. size. That's like a that's like a gallon of Red Bull right there. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh <laughs> I tried to cut it off. Like seriously, it's been like uh, two weeks for me now. Before I used to drink at least three, four a day. Now I'm at two maximum, one maybe. And days I don't. Yeah. But Aren't you scared of like they say that it can cause a lot of issues health wise three to four that's crazy yeah it's, and you take the large ones right no usually the small but today just because I'm doing an interview with you I got so the you large needed I, I, I needed more energy. all right blame it on on the show blame it on <laughs> okay. the show we'll take that no worries <laughs> yeah. let's talk about how it actually all started 
Yeah. The biggest thing that came out about Omar Borkan mm-hmm. was that you got kicked out mm-hmm. of Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. for being too handsome. What a nice thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and articles say that you were a distraction to women and the cause was like there was so many different articles. I don't want to wow. go into that part. Yeah, Everyone yeah. like you guys can search it. Right. But I want to go into what's the truth behind that? It's been years. The whole thing. You it's, want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. The truth, the but truth. nothing but the truth. Uh, the uncut <laughs> truth. <laughs> because look, it's been years. Right. And that question is still out there. Right. And I think your fans and everyone who's listening deserves to like understand know. what really happened right. and what went down. Right. All right. What do you want to know? I want to know what happened. I'm giving it the to you. The whole story. I'm just the listener at this point. The whole story. Yeah. Um, back in 2013, so that's when it's all started. Um, I, I told you, like, since 2008, I was doing like the whole modeling, right. and, like the pictures is spreading around and stuff. And Saudi Arabia was a a big place where they're like using these pictures for right. a lot of purposes. So. Um, I had a visit to Saudi Arabia, me and my brother, my cousin, we were on a trip for Amra. Okay. Yeah, for one week. So, so for religious purposes. Just like, yeah, went, exactly. Yeah. So like we went there, everything is just fine. On our last day, we um, were kind of bored. Have, we have nothing to do. So we decided to go to uh, Janadria. Okay. It's a festival. Okay. Yeah, so we went there. I got recognized from uh, a Social girl, uh, from a, yeah, from like. a lady there. So she asked for an autograph and a picture. Okay. And once that happened, uh, four, five uh, more girls, they were start coming. And basically, a scene where it's not allowed. So you, you be mixed with okay. the girls, you know? Yeah, so... Um, Religion police back then, uh, okay. they're not there anymore, but back then they came and they asked me basically to leave because um, the scene is bad and we, I cannot do that. You know, I did not know. I don't know the rules. So you're at a festival mm-hmm. walking around mm-hmm. and aren't the guys and girls supposed to be separated? Separated, yeah. Okay. So th- they recognized you yeah. from further away and they come yeah. to you. Yeah. And ask you for an autograph. Yeah. And that kind of like created a domino effect where exactly. more and more girls came. Mm-hmm. And then the police came. Religion the religious, police. Religious, religion police. Mm-hmm. And asked you to leave. Mm-hmm. They asked you to leave Politely. the event or... Politely. The event. Okay. Not to Saudi Arabia, no. I can go to Saudi Arabia just to make this clear to everyone. Okay. I can go back to Saudi Arabia anytime I want. Seriously. Okay. What happened is, I'll tell you what happened. Um, I, I, I was asked to leave the the festival. Right. I went back. Two hours later, I was at the airport uh, going back to Canada. So I think oh. whoever wrote the first article about the whole thing basically maybe knew that I already left. So in his mind, maybe... They I, assumed that, that you got kicked out of the, the country. The whole country. Anyways, the fun part about it, I don't know. I have no idea. There is even like someone going to talk about this or right. someone's going to say something about me. You know, like even like if you go back to the first article, there were like three guys, n- no mention of names, nothing. You know? Right. I read that. Yeah, because a lot of people were even like saying, we don't even know if that's Him. Omar's story. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. The, so, the, it's just three guys exactly. that were kicked out of this exactly. like, place. Exactly. So That's crazy. I went, I traveled back to Canada. Uh, everything goes back to normal. For the, like uh, another 24 hours later, and oh going, going back to work, and uh, one colleague came up to me, and he was like, Omar, did you check your Facebook yesterday? And I was like, no, I did not. And he was like, you better go check your Facebook. Someone is thought, like, some news are on all oh. over Facebook about you. And oh I really God. did not give it any attention, you know. I just I 
assume that like you know like it's another just another, yeah. another someone is using my picture for it right so yeah two hours later another guy came up to me and he said the same thing so i was like you know what i'll go check it out yeah so i went to the office i, I opened and i googled my name i googled my name and here is hundreds of thousands of uh, search results oh my god and like, it just went viral it was viral like you know like because the story is kind of like if you think about the title that's one good title like like they talked about it in good morning america chelsea lately okay you know chelsea yeah Yeah, of course she she made a joke about it uh all the social media stars they did like a topic on it like i i remember it was like china korea and it like, went like trending yeah it yeah. was trending and then like the next day i woke up where it was all the way in south america and they were like talking about it in spanish so i was wow. like oh wow you know like it is uh, viral so and my phone email everything is just start you know like going crazy blowing going up. crazy yeah so i was like you know what i'm not gonna answer these calls you know i'm yeah. just gonna leave them because if they gonna just like want you know like like uh, answers. answers they're gonna want you to end the rumors right and what you did is you didn't end them no and that made it even bigger right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is amazing yeah that's crazy yeah well you like you have to be smart of like you know any opportunity and a chance that comes yeah of course your way yeah. you have to basically use it as that's much that's kind of like a marketing strategy right like without you doing it right it was something that came and you're like i don't need to address this one one i remember one uh journalist said this is the best pr i ever seen like this is the best you know yeah yeah like i can't (laughs) for any actor you know like like everyone is talking everyone looking at this guy picture like he got the best yeah the best promotion i mean just thinking of it like for the title being a man gets kicked out that's, for being too handsome. Listen, that's what made it so special because of the article and how they wrote the article. It's right. nothing about the whole story itself. It's yeah. like the article, a guy got kicked out of Saudi Arabia or like any place for yeah. being too handsome. handsome. It's never heard, like you never heard about nothing. this before. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when you hear such a thing, it just like everyone wants to talk about it right you know and you know how social media is and the internet and it stuff goes, it goes yeah. viral so even like google was like the, like it was the biggest story of 2013 you know wow. like the most viral story of 2013 yeah, yeah and then to help that there was a really good picture of you uh, with the <laughs> right here here's the thing here here's like you remember when i told you my mom were like when are you gonna get paid for this yeah you know what i mean so when that happened, I had a big archive of pictures. Right. You know what I mean? So like when they went on my Facebook and they got like the full album and they, they have <laughs> all type of pictures for me. You know what I mean? All the good pictures yeah. that I was using. All I was this, actually, all uh, this you know, time, like, all, your mom all this, was like, what is this? This is a waste of time. <laughs> exactly. And that's when it came to you. I'm use. getting paid for this right now, you know? I was like, you know. And that's awesome. Yeah. You're like, mama, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because that, that's how your picture went viral, viral. too because all the art articles started using omar's picture with right. the, the red thing yeah, yeah. with yeah. the whole arab look right. and that made it go viral right you know and it was a really good picture of you like that yeah. picture i mean you were see here's the thing because i remember you know like if you really go back um we don't have such a model with the the whole Arabic right. look, you know, like yeah. you really don't find it. You, no, and you, it wasn't like I don't think it's a cultural thing. Like we, you know, there wasn't a lot of Arab models no. out there doing See, this. Yeah, Arab models there, there were Arab models, but they're like normal, nothing a catwalk kind of like, like yeah, yeah. N- with normal clothing and all that. Yeah. But like we, you never saw a guy with a kandora and like the whole Arabic outfit promoting that culture. Exactly. So like, so when they saw the picture, like you know, like. The, the, you know that now they have yeah. the pictures that they can use they can use mm-hmm. you were like if you google arab guy you would You'll show find, up exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> that's awesome yeah 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 and that changed your life mm-hmm. didn't it big change it big changed change. your life of course because you <laughs> went from being um someone who's you know just doing it out have of a passion normal life normal life and normal mm-hmm. life to then becoming this normal life. I remember I I always wanted 
to be popular in yeah. some way. You know, like yeah. even when I'm at work, I want to be the most popular guy at work. At exactly. school, I want to be the most popular at school. So when that came, I was like, this is like kind of meant to be. Like my personality is going to be really like this is it suits me yeah so um and what i did was like not just i did not want to 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 go away so i went to work you know like i did not just leave it for after this rumors and whatever the trendy yeah. uh, viral story and then i'm not doing anything you right. know so no i went to work i traveled i did a lot of you know like sh uh, covers for magazines and been on tv a lot and all that just to help it keep keep growing you know yeah you have to take advantage of the hype if mm -hmm. you let it die out then you just right you know yeah um did you work anywhere before that like did you do anything like did you have a job yeah regular job uh in a company in canada uh home supplies it was such a a fun job to be it honest was, yeah right? a fun job normal eight to nine, eight to five yeah so yeah and how was that like was that home supplies what were you doing just sales i was like no no i was like in charge of uh, the shipping department so like okay. i was uh, i had a team of 35 people i guess 32 oh, wow. yeah so you're quite successful in that i was doing very great yeah very good you were the popular guy there i too. was the yeah. popular guy serious i was the guy <laughs> yeah, yeah. i was the guy to go to i heard you have your own um personalized emoji app right is that true of your most iconic pictures right. how did that happen uh a company. was it during that time as well no or is that more later recent? yeah okay. no, later yeah it's so, it's nice you can see you want to see it? yeah i want to oh. see it let's see yeah. it i want to see that that's crazy i'm can i use your uh, emojis I, like in conversations yes um here's like let's say you go to uh, here. omar burkan has his own emoji that's crazy <laughs> do you use them let me ask you this do you use them Sometimes yourself as a joke yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah that's actually <laughs> funny like i don't know if they can see this but uh, we might show it on um on the screen like this is actually funny like <laughs> oh my god like chill. what yeah. chill wanna ride <laughs> oh, that one. That's your most common one, right? I probably, I'm sure you use that Wanna one. Want to ride? <laughs> Bye <laughs> on a jet ski. Yeah. Oh my God. Th those are actually kind of cool. Like It is funny. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. Congrats. Thank you. You are uh, also, mm. you. do you do poetry any mm. still or is that? I one? used to do, not any, like privately sometimes. Is that a passion of yours? Do mm, you like it? Mm, I love it. Is that how you I love get... words. Yeah? Yeah. I love words. Arabic words. And it's all in Arabic, your poetry. Of course. And um, do you did you ever think of like writing a a book or like a poetry book? If I want to I know if I want to write a book, it will be the story of my life <laughs> right seriously that's crazy because like, yeah, it it should be in a movie because it's so fun to watch like right? the, like the whole details i'm talking about like the details and you know, like the, the, what happened and and you know like how i like how my life start changing and how i traveled the world and yeah. how i like experience so you know like all these cultures and like you go to japan you learn something new you go to chile or ecuador or right. brazil you know like it's a whole different culture so you'd be like uh, traveling between cultures and you know like meeting new people and yeah it, it was so fun that's um speaking of your life <laughs> we uh we all know you have a son right and oh, you, want to go <laughs> <laughs> you w are married are you not married are you single ready to mingle are you in a relationship I'm what is your current relationship status? i'm currently separated separated yes <clears throat> uh and this is with your long time not long time three years marriage yes three years marriage yeah and, and i've been separated for two months now and is it something that you you guys were on and off right because on social media, you guys were quite public about it, and she right. was too. Yeah, we got separated before, 
okay. yeah, six months ago, and then we were back. Okay. And now, like, we just recently got separated again. What are the struggles like? If you don't mind me asking, what are what do you feel in like in my life or in your relationship? In general. Like in that was what because you guys were public. Like right. that's the only reason I'm asking. See, I'll tell you something. because a lot of people want to know. You know, because it's it was very much like she would go online and you guys would post pictures together. Right. We're back and people were super happy. Right. I remember the time. You know, like yeah. uh, people got super excited. They love seeing you guys together. Right. And then unfortunately Again. things yeah. didn't work out no it's okay like we both understand like our situation and we're trying to be uh, mature about it we're trying to be grown-ups and you know like we right. have a baby so we have to basically make the best you of know like for, for the baby uh lately like uh, the struggles in my life or you want you like in general here in dubai it's kind of uh, tricky you know like when right. and especially in in my industry and, and the way i work i be like around uh, events and parties right. and you know like so it's kind of so it's do so you think hard to it's jealousy like uh, would that be a big reason because obviously there's you a lot of girls or females in this industry in this business that will come up to you and well jealousy starts the thing but and then start building up to be problems and then like right. once you start having problems and then you you hold grudges against your partner and then you know like it's it's not easy when you're you're not trying to you know like uh, step down and she's not trying to step step down from right. you know like no so, so like you bump heads exactly you, you bump heads so do you feel like it's more your fault or i will believe, yeah you think yeah, of course you well, take it you take it i'll, I'll take <laughs> he's it he's like i'll take I'll it take it's it. my I'll fault take it one for the team yeah <laughs> no. it is my fault in the beginning okay so like in the beginning i did a couple yeah. mistakes where and then you know like i made her maybe lose trust in me and right. then like that start building up to you know like more problems and then yeah but is it do you feel like there was anything you could have done to s salvage the relationship I did, save it i did you I did. did yeah i did i did many times because you did come back yeah you guys of course. did come no, you no. had we gave it so many shots yeah you know, like we gave it so many shots and then like now we basically understanding you know like maybe it's not working out because our personality is uh, you are know like di are, different. are different and then like we both are strong personalities and then like right. she, you know like i don't want to you know just forgive things and she don't want to forgive things and then we're gonna keep fighting and then basically keeping you know like keeping that fights right. all the time at home is not good for the baby so it's not healthy right? it's not healthy for the baby and yes. you guys are mature enough to say you know what you know yeah, yeah. let's yeah. move on yeah, yeah let's do what's best for right uh the little one right and respect each other of course that's amazing i will at least that part is good that you guys are able to you know yeah understand um, it respect each other and not like you know because it can easily get really bad ugly. right uh, ugly, ugly yeah. believe me um but i'm glad that at least you guys are working things out yeah and in a in a you know peaceful manner Alhamdulillah. so now it's omar borkan is single ready to mingle not ready to mingle no. at all. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a break a, a big time oh yeah no mingling no 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 mingling. no <laughs> Okay, because no, no way. mingling. No way. <laughs> you have to wait until he's ready to mingle. Well, at least do a post or something once you're ready so that they know. So I just announced that I'm single. <laughs> I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. Oh, okay. Just say that when you're ready <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I wish you all the best in that terms. Uh, Thank you. Did you ever think of starting your own YouTube channel? Like just you vlogging or doing something? I thought about it many times and I'm actually um, like trying to do it again right now. Um, it's just like me, uh, like uh, my life was so busy right? and I couldn't be like just holding camera and trying to do this and that in the right. same time, you know. So I chose not to start something if I don't want to put time into it, you know, like you, yeah. you don't want to do something 50-50, yeah. you know, like you want to really create something that's 
cool, good, unique. You know, like people would love to watch it. Yeah, and I think vlogging right now, everyone is vlogging. So right, like you want something special. Like here's like what you're doing right now. Here is like unique. Yeah. You, you did yeah. not see anyone doing it in the region right now. Like you For know, sure. like you know, like so you meet up celebrities. You talk about personal things and and I know. think this this like this theory that you have. I think this ma- uh, concept of not copying. Others. makes it successful exactly because it's unique exactly you, know? you uh, don't want to you don't want to do the same thing that a lot of other people are doing you know right yeah it just becomes normal you know? how many tattoos do you have because i see you have a, a few yeah, right i think i six five 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 and what are they you have one on your hand so i have one here it says know your worth i like i have this okay it's very strong to me you know like when you always know what think, you're worth yeah know your worth you know and then i have this here is like a timing uh 136 p.m where like the time my child was born oh that's yeah, crazy that's really nice that's actually a cool one like i yeah. like the clock one that yeah, one yeah and i have here uh, a paw, wolf, wolf, a wolf? wolf nice paw. and then i do have here in japanese um is love loyalty and respect wow yeah, yeah. And I have here one on your chest. On my chest, it's a date. It's a date. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you regret any? No, no, no. Would you get I, more? Yeah, you would, right? Yeah. Do you think it's an addiction, like like your Red Bull thing? <laughs> well, you, you, you always like yeah, exactly. They yeah. say it's a very very addiction thing. Well, because once you start, you break up you your want virginity. More, yeah. You know what I mean? So like you'd be like, you know what? I did one, so let's. I can do another. Yeah. So that's the way you think about it. But like, for me, I, I'm trying to basically every tattoo that I want to put, it has a story or something behind it or right. a reminder for me. You know, like you know, this n- yeah. know your worth is a reminder for me. You know, like always know who you are. You know, yeah. It's a very strong three words. And then I have this here, the love, loyalty, respect. It's a very cool right. thing that I learned in Japan. They have this relationship rules, uh, or like they call it for the relationship basics, uh, bases, you know? Right. So like you have three bases and you can build on it. If one of the one of the base like goes, like you lose yeah. one, you lose three of them. You know oh, what I mean? Wow. So if you lose love. So they're like pillars. Exactly. So yeah. like three are, are very connected to each other. And if you give it to a person and you get the same thing back, you will never break this relationship. But once you lose one, you lose it all. all. Uh, It just comes automatically right after. That's That's what happened with my relationship. (laughs) I know, right? Because it's true. I did not follow the rules. (laughs) (laughs) If you lose one, you you kind of ruin the flow. Exactly. You just ruin it all. Yeah. Let's play a game. Okay. All right. This game is this or that. So I give you two options. You choose one or the other. Sure. All right. Let's come in with that dramatic music. Uh oh. Here we go. All right, pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Waffles. Perfect teeth Mm -hmm. or perfect hair? Perfect teeth. Teeth. Poker or uno? Poker. Poker. Swimming or sun tanning? Sun tanning. Movie at home? Or movie at the cinema? At home. At home. Of course. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Sunrise. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Truth or dare? Truth. Truth. Ribs or wings? That's very hard one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I uh, like both. Yeah, I like both. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the ribs. Ribs. Mm. Call or text? I call a lot. You so call? Like, yeah, I call. I don't like, you know. So you rather call? I rather call. I, I, I rather hear you, how you answer me. Right. You know, like when you text. Because a lot of people are like, they you, text. you lose the, the, the connection when you text. You know, That's like, you're true. like, is he mad? Like, what's the tone of yeah. the text? What's you know the tone I mean? of what's the, the text? Tone? So, like, people start using the emojis to make, yeah. you know, like. Especially your emoji. Yeah. You need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Call, yeah. Last one. Be invisible or read minds? I don't want 
to read. No one minds, believe me. So I'll be invisible. <laughs> invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think invisible is good, right? Yeah. That's like cool. Reading minds, you will get tired. You will get tired. And but you imagine you could like hear. Everything. Yeah, but like I think once you start hearing everything, you're not gonna be able to stand anyone because you're gonna hear like, oh, like he's talking bad about me now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like in his head. So. But maybe you think uh, you could solve issues like. Imagine you could read someone's mind and... I don't want to bring no more issues into my life. I have a lot already. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be invisible, so like I can just go anywhere I want, you know, yeah. like do whatever I want. No one is seeing me. A lot of people, I, I would choose invisible because the lifestyle that I have now, sometimes I... You want to be invisible. I wish that I am invisible. The yeah. other day, just for example, two, three days ago, so I was like not in a really good mood and stuff. So I called a friend. Yeah. I was like, hey, let's go have a drink, you know, like a quiet night out. And like, I want to talk. I want to just like get get it out, you know? Yeah. So we went and they're like, just like we're sitting down and there are like five ladies. And okay. They, and they recognize who I am. Okay. So like they came up to me, hey, you're Omar and stuff. Yeah. And they're like, we want to take pictures with you. So like we took pictures. That's like, we're just like, we just sat down, right? right? So like taking pictures and stuff. And they're sitting next to us, you know? And then like there's another three ladies that ne- sitting just like next to me. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you know how this two. Yeah. Are. So they are sitting next to me. And they know actually who I am too. So oh like my, my conversation has to be filtered and I Super. have to be quiet about it. You know, like I'm because you have to maintain your image, obviously. Not just like the image, because I don't want to them to know my personal life. Right. You know what I mean? So like they're next to us. You know, so like I'd be That's like, crazy. you know what? Sorry, it's not a quiet night anymore. You just we can just go home, come continue yeah. the conversation because like yeah. Sometimes and that's you when you wish you were invisible invisible exactly yeah. i agree yeah. i mean uh is your following mainly females i assume it is 75 percent right? yes females yeah. wow <laughs> 75 yeah so if anyone wants to get to, hooked uh, up <laughs> if you need help uh, with go on to my, pro- partner, my profile yeah, yeah <laughs> call yeah. omar burkan <laughs> at 800 omar burkan <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being on the thank show, bro. Thank you for having me. It was amazing. It was really fun. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. And we'll have I you did. back soon, hopefully. Of course. Expensive Tastes is currently what they can look up Expensive to check taste, out yeah. your um, uh, most uh, recent content. Right. As well as your Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, Omar Borkan. Omar Borkan, yeah. And simple, straightforward. Thank write it for me, Don. Yes, I will. I will. Okay. I'll put it right there. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, Omar. It thanks, was lovely having you. Me. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you and too, stop bro. growing taller because now you're like pushing. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying to go to the gym just like to stop myself. For <laughs> <a minute. laughs> All right, we're out. Thank you so much, guys. Thank if you're you. listening to the audio version, please go check out the visuals on YouTube. Uncut with S1. And we are out. Peace.